Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric and I'm a medical student in Canada. And today I'll be taking you through a productive day of studying cardiology. I wake up at around 8 a.m. after getting my usual eight hours of sleep. I mess around my phone and check my messages, emails, and do some Anki cards to wake my brain up. I then roll out of bed and tell my Google Home to play some music. Recently, I've been listening to Still Woozy, and I just discovered Tame Impala and Shiloh Dynasty. The music is calm and mellow and helps give a relaxing vibe to get my morning started off right as I tidy up my room. Mr. Monkey and Captain Kirk have been moving around during the night again. I change out of my pajamas and put on my gym clothes to get that early morning workout in and get the blood flowing. Oh yeah, I need this too. This is a 20 pound weight vest. I've recently started doing a workout called the Murph. It's a two mile run, 300 squats, 200 push-ups, and 100 pull-ups. All while wearing that 20 pound vest. Yeah, I don't know what possessed me to try this either. I usually like to finish the push-ups, pull-ups, and squats before I go on the run to save the best for last. Just kidding, the cardio is definitely the hardest part for me. After I finish up the squats, push-ups, and pull-ups, I'm already exhausted, but I continue the challenge with the run. Exercising early in the morning helps me cross off one thing I have off my to-do list and gives me a lot more time during the day. It also really helps me take advantage of all the energy I have in the morning. Plus, it's something that helps wake me up and puts me in a good mood before I start classes. I finish up my run and have a protein shake to quench my thirst. I have a quick shower, brush my teeth, and then I go to my room and sit down at my desk to get started on all the work for today. It's Friday, which means that I have my tutorial today. In tutorial, we usually get a new case about a disease and then make our own objectives to take up together for the next tutorial. Last tutorial, we made objectives to learn about cardiomyopathies or diseases affecting the muscles of the heart. More specifically, we're focusing on hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, which is part of the muscle gets so big that it blocks blood flow. Before tutorial, I wanna review my notes and make sure that I covered all the objectives that we set. Then I usually go to a few different resources and try to find pictures that will help guide our discussion. I summarize all the info into the app OneNote so that I can easily access it during tutorial and when I review it in the future. If I finish early, I like to review some of the material I learned in the past. Right now, I'm using Amboss for their question bank. Our school gave us a discount for it, and I'm loving it so far. I get a lot of questions wrong because we don't cover all the material behind the practice questions in class, but that just motivates me to do some more self-learning on the side. As 12.30 approaches, I make some quick lunch before my tutorial. Today, I'm having some bua shi feng, or spicy noodles, before heading straight back to work. Our curriculum is broken up into five units. Each unit, we are placed into a group of about seven people. This is my current group. In this current unit, we covered respirology and cardiology together and learned about anatomy and physiology, pathophysiology, diagnostics, and treatments for a lot of different diseases. I've loved my group and my tutor so far, and I can't wait to see what my next group will be like. Three hours later, when we finish our tutorial, I'm feeling that afternoon fatigue, and I fight off the urge to take a nap. I de-stress with some YouTube videos and catch up with some of my friends. Before long, it's already time for dinner. But first, I like to hang out with Gibby a little bit. He's tired today. Today for dinner, we're having hot pot. For the uninitiated, hot pot is a traditional Asian meal that is usually shared within a group of people. You can put whatever you want into a boiling broth and it cooks super quickly. 
Today we have some veggies like cabbage and mushroom and some meat like beef and lamb. Hot pot is always my comfort food that reminds me of home whenever I'm away from my family for too long or just not feeling that great. Whenever I finish dinner or long tutorials, I feel really sleepy. Usually I succumb to my base desires and take a long nap, but today I'm going to go for a walk around the neighborhood and enjoy the fall weather. I love seeing the different colors and festive decorations that people are starting to put out. It's also the last chance to put on those shorts and enjoy that last little sprinkle of summer this year. After my walk, it's back to work with some much needed Anki. I turn on my computer to that beautiful aesthetic blue and purple mountainside and put on lo-fi hip hop beats to study and relax to. Anki isn't my favorite thing to do in the world, but it's so good for remembering all the things I need to learn. I tap away at the space bar and tap and tap and tap away for what feels like a million years, but was actually only an hour. Make up some new cards based on the tutorial from today and call it a day on my study. Now it's time to unwind from the day's work and take it easy for the rest of the night. I hop in a Discord server with some friends from high school and play some video games. We usually play a few different games, like Among Us and League of Legends, but today we're playing Duck Game. It's an arcade game where you want to be the last duck standing. Outside of tutorial, my group gets together sometimes to play some fun games and to get to know each other just a little bit better. Being in school online has been pretty isolating for us all, so it's nice to play among us with each other every now and then. P.S. Red is looking kind of sus. After some gaming, I hop into another call with my girlfriend Alicia. This is honestly my favorite part of the day because we don't have a whole lot of time to talk during the day, so whatever time we do have is really special to me. She is always there to be supportive when I'm struggling, just like I'm there to support her when she is struggling. We talk about our days and how we're doing before we fire up Netflix and go straight into a binge. Right now, we're watching Kakiguri, which is an anime about gambling on Netflix. After telling ourselves just one more episode about six times, it's already 12 a.m. and it's time for bed. I get ready for bed and hop into my warm sheets. I usually think about some things that I was grateful for before I go to sleep. Today, I was grateful for the opportunity to exercise and train my body, an amazing and comforting dinner with my family, and the opportunity to spend so much time with Alicia. I then doze off with anticipation for tomorrow and dreams about how I will edit this video. Thank you so much for joining me on a productive day in my cardiology unit. I hope that you can take away that school can be really consuming, but it's also possible to have a rich work-life balance, even in medical school. That's been your daily dose of Medi Sun, and I'll see you in the next video.